Hello. Uh, hold on. Let me actually just put on another song before we start uh, playing. Because I'm going to wait so people can actually uh, arrive and all that. Let's see, what's a good one? That's a good one. Hello, Bobbit. Trying to ease into the, uh, like, the new... Uh, I don't know, posture and everything, new chair, new desk, new everything. I got a fucking, like, small box, uh, with, like, a Yahtzee game inside of it. Um, just, like, propping up my mic to get it up to the, um, the height that I need it at. So that it's, like, close to my, my mouth and all that. It's real silly. After the, um, uh, like, after the next month, I think, when I've sort of figured out how much money I'm going to be spending a on average each month and how much money I'm getting, I'll, um, I'll probably, like, do, uh, I'll probably look into getting, like, a shock mount or something so that I can, like, bump the desk without you guys hearing it and, like, have the mic, mic like, hanging from above and stuff. That would be kind of sick. Oh, wait, you were in, uh, in Sweden? Where in Sweden were you? Because I, I don't know if I actually asked or if you told anyone. Because I was in Sweden, like, a week ago. <laughs> what a name. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call you- I'm gonna call you Michael then, or Michael Collins. Or I'll just call you Irish, because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to read that name. But also, I really appreciate um, you watching the uh, Japan series. It's like, it's a, it's very long form content and very different. So I, you know, I expected it to get less views than the average uh, video, but it actually gets a lot of views. Let's uh, swap over to the Hearts 4 scene. And I'm just gonna let this song play out and then we'll uh, pop into the, uh, the regular music. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, Vestergotland. I was way up north, so. Uh, do you mean Skana or Skåne? I have um yeah I've known some people from Skåne. They their way they speak Swedish is just fucking weird. It's like a mixture of Danish and Swedish. I don't understand it. Alright, well that's it for the music, and let's pop on the regular Hearts 1 4 music, because I do want to get this video monetized. Alright, so last time I think, it's been a while, because, uh, you know, I've been moving and all that, but last time I, um, uh, yeah, it, wait, uh, S Skana? Uh, might be, that might be like a Danish one, uh, I've heard them call it Skona. Uh, but that's also kind of why, or kind of like, um, uh, related to them just speaking in a way that's just fucking bizarre. Uh, okay, so, if I remember correctly, we, um, I mean, we're stuck up in Siberia, we're having a bad time, wasting a lot of manpower, and we, I think we were talking about, like, potentially getting involved in the Australasian Union, just because, um, this stuff is going to take a while, and it's going to be, like, painful to actually move through. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to slow down the speed, and I'm going to unpause. I've uh, stopped any and all assault here. And, uh... I'm going to just wait for a bit, because at the moment, the, um... Like, our supply situation here is fucking dreadful. And uh, that's uh, causing basically every assault that we make to cost us way more than it has to, because we're, you know, not getting the guns, we're not getting the men up here. You can see these guys, attrition. Uh, the supply situation is good enough for us to actually be able to do something, uh, were it not for all of our allies also wanting to do something. Now, what I can do... Uh... Oh, Shanna? 
That might be a different place, then. I might be thinking of somewhere else. Um, yeah, so uh, what what we can do is, uh, technically, we can ask for expeditionary forces from all these guys and basically take control over their units and just yeet them down to China so that we don't actually have to deal with them. Uh, or so they don't have to, like, suck up the supplies. But for the moment, I'm going to let them do whatever the fuck they're trying to do over here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Well, I need to check something. Yep, I've been streaming for seven minutes. Good, I didn't swear in the first minute of the video. Which means that YouTube will not be mad. I feel like, yeah, every time they do a manual review, they only check the first, uh, like, minute. Okay, this stuff, yeah, this is bad. We gotta get these guys, like... I, mean, I probably don't even need them here. Uh, do you know any Irish terms? Well, I mean, I know about, no, about like, shillelaghs. I'm just gonna pull these guys out, because I think we can hold this anyways, and we're not gonna gain anything from actually pushing up here, because there's, like, no resources. Oh, there's steel there, but... That's it, yep, they're redeploying. Don't know what that is. Let's see, we've got five here, five here. We've got a solid line of five over here. We can't do anything for the Feng Shan, uh, boys. Which is problematic. We probably actually don't even need anything here because we've got ports over here. Uh, let's see, yeah, we've got six stuff there. And we've got a port there. So supplies should be flowing this way. You could cut up north near Etrusk to encircle Siberia. Yeah, that was a uh, plan. I've got this uh, here set up. And uh, it is theoretically possible. And that, yeah, no, that was what I was doing to begin with. But uh, every single, like, attack was costing us way too much men, uh, or too much manpower. So it wasn't really, like, worth it, honestly. Uh, it's probably better to just hold and wait until we're um, in a better position and then try it again. And, yeah, we're building out something here. I don't know what's going on here. Probably don't hold enough, so we can't mess with it. Yeah, we need to hold more Tuva. Blessed Tanu Tuva. Also, once again, Jamaicans. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna just build more infrastructure then. I can't do it... No, I can, actually. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do it... Um... Hold on, I'm gonna check this first. We can... Oh, oh my god, that's one and two. Yeah, that's that's dreadful. We can, um, possibly ask for... No, we can't, because that's transomer claimed. Never mind. All right, I'm going to do uh, this. Just expand that right there. That should be good. And then also do this. Uh, where's the nearest port here? It's down here, and it's... Yeah, it's far away. I'm, I'm actually going to, like, expand this port. There we go. That should should give us a lot more supplies to, uh, to play with. It's obviously still not going to be perfect. We do have a um, an airport, or two airports here, which we can use for air supply. Provided we have any transport planes. We do not. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to see... Uh, yeah, we can actually... So I'm going to bomb this, like Western Siberia here. Uh, with the intent being to cut off the enemy's supplies in the way that our supplies have been cut off. And that might be able to make it a lot easier for us to actually, like, do the thing I'm wanting to do, which is cut them off in eastern Siberia. Of course, we barely have any, uh, any, um, bombers. That's a bit annoying. I'm gonna increase that to 50, and I'm gonna just have a look at our bomber production. Strat Bomber, none, because we don't have any aluminium. Carrier Naval Bombers are important, so are Carrier Fighters. I'm going to reduce that slightly, though, just to uh, reduce the amount of aluminium we're using. And SWAT Equipment, very, very important. The balance for everything else is okay. The problem is just resources. And we add a lot of... Um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, free civilian factories. I'm going to trade for some uh, aluminium. Oh my god. 
Uh, yeah. United States of Greater Austria, thank you. Shangshan government, give me everything. Transamur, sure. Korea, sure. Proper spelling is, uh, I, I won't be able to pronounce that at all. I was uh, potentially going out to a party today, but I decided I'm going to rest my voice a little bit. Um, because when you go out to a party here, you generally become... Or it, it generally gets loud. And... Uh, and obviously that's not very beneficial when I have this health issue with the uh, the voice, uh, you know, the vocal cords, the vocal box and all that. Yeah, this stuff is all uh, stable. You ever thought about playing Ireland? I did play Ireland as one of my first nations in uh, Kaiserreich that I played. Germany and Ireland, I think, were the first two I played. And uh, I'm potentially going to play them at some point in the future, but not right now. I've got way too much stuff, like, basically queued up. With, um... I think, so, w once the Ottoman Empire uh, rework drops, I'm gonna play them, of course. I'm also gonna play the Chinese nations when the China rework drops, and... I'm eyeing up Russia and Greece. Socialist Republic of Italy has capitulated. That leaves only the Union of Britain, I think, in the Socialist Bloc. That's a problem. Well, actually, technically, the Buracha Commune, but I'm not sure if they're in the same alliance. They usually aren't. Nope, they're not. Yeah, because you've got the Third International uh, here and in Mexico, but I don't think any of them are great powers. Let me d double check that. Uh, Second Weltkrieg. They're not, which means that if the Union of Britain col uh, capitulates, the Germans can take this land without us getting a piece of the cake. Which means... We gotta stop that from happening. Hello, Mohammed. And hello, Reigns. Oh yeah, of course, hold on. There we go. Uh, Reigns, you should be modded now. Alright, so when the um, when the justification for the war is over or done, which is going to be in 110 days, um, what we're going to do is we're going to naval invade these territories, I think, and uh, then go from there, naval invade uh, like further south. I want to avoid actually fighting in Australia as much as possible, but basically I'm just getting involved so that we can get a piece of the cake once the um, uh, peace deal pops. But I also, you know, don't want to be too gamey about it, because, you know, we got to take some territory, right? Hey, right, these guys are on the wrong icon. Oh, shit, we've got uh, uh, new stuff here. Uh, like, new icons. Well, that's cool. Japan, Eastern USSR. South Africa, Balkans. Kill Australia, manifest destiny. Hell yeah, dude. No problem, Reigns. Fast capture New Zealand. Uh, yeah, I'll do that too. I'll take, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll want all that steel and all that. The tungsten doesn't uh, bother me too much, so I'm gonna focus, I think, on the northern, uh, northern end here. Uh, what's this area called? Northern Territory, that makes sense. Uh, we're gonna focus on that. 
So Papua, and then, or apparently Kaiser Wilhelm's land, and then the Northern Territory. Uh, hold on, I need to uh, answer a text real quick. Please uh, tell me if anything important happens. Uh, the East Coast has the most victory points. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not trying to capitulate them though. We're just trying to take the resources, and then uh, there's going to be a peace deal once the Union of Britain capitulates. And once that peace deal hits, we're just going to take their territory because they're not a great power in this war. Hey, look, an important thing. Oh shit. Let's see. We could probably just use these guys to hold. Um, Hold the uh, naval entry points. Kind of a large army to use that uh, for that, though. We'll use these guys as well. Yeah, we'll use these guys instead. I'm gonna send them down to um, whatever this place is called down here. Actually, we're gonna naval invade from there. We'll send them somewhere else. We'll send them actually here. No, shit, that's the same place. Uh, there. Is that Iwo Jima? Oh, it's Palau. Iwo Jima's like... Hold on. Goddamn. This is su such a hard uh, place to click. That's Mark's Island. Where the fuck is Iwo Jima? It's like somewhere... It's... Don't tell me the relations have it. That's Wake. What the fuck? That's Iwo. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of oil processing, but we're not actually lacking oil anymore because we got all that oil from the wars. Uh, did Insul India heal to the Japanese might? The Insul Indians, uh, I believe, hold on. They've joined the Core Prosperity Sphere. And... As you can see, they are not even our puppet. They are a senior partner in the Core Prosperity Sphere. Well, as senior as it can be without being Japan, of course. You know, code prosperity for everyone, but, as, uh, you know, Japanese people especially, so. That's the whole uh, idea behind uh, the code prosperity sphere. It's a very, like, marketable term, but in reality it's not... You know, it's not what it's uh, billed as. Let's see. The Russians aren't really doing much out here. They're, yeah, they've got destroyers and stuff. Probably don't even need these guys out. Convoy rating not necessary. We'll uh, send them down south. Ready, like over there. We'll actually we'll base them first. Middle East serves a rework. Yeah, there's some new stuff coming for the Middle East with the Ottoman rework. Remember how we wanted to buy Granada 100 years ago? Didn't the Americans invade Granada at some point? Oh, this is good. It's going to be good with elite forces when we're um, doing naval invasions. Ah, oh, Greenland, okay. Oh, so you wrote Greenland. Oh, my, my bad. Well, uh, they also did invade Granada, I think. Uh, let's see. We'll do simultaneous naval invasions, I think. So, one from here, to Darwin. Uh, it used to be that the Ottomans were very, very weak. But now nowadays, like, they, um... Uh, they're... I don't know, pre pretty, pretty strong. Some people would like to say they're overpowered. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually invade from here because then we don't have to cross any sea zones. That's a good song. Sure, thank you. Uh, we need all that seal because we're building, like, yeah, some big ships. Yeah, that whole buying Greenland thing was really stupid. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't know, like, you can re never really tell. Can't tell if it's like smokescreen or if it's just like something stupid that someone said and then it got repeated and then, you know, whatever. Uh, did you know that Denmark doesn't exist? And uh, no, I didn't. I thought that was Finland and Belgium and numerous other nations. Well, and New Zealand, of course. Yeah, I mean, technically the Northwest Passage is, um, well, that area is actually going to become incredibly strategically important uh, with uh, climate change and all that. So, like, I don't blame him for, I guess, having that thought, but a man also needs a filter where he, you know, doesn't say the stupid shit as well. Like, you're, you're, it's fine to think it. Just keep it to yourself. What does the CSA always win when you're a non-Cindy nation? Yeah, I mean, the CSA basically are primed to win every time because they sit on a bunch of important industry stuff, or industrial stuff in the steel belt. And also, uh, also, like, uh, the East Coast has a lot of factories and manpower, and the CSA basically have an easy way of getting there, uh, provided that the Federalists mess up, which they often do. Uh, or, you know, the Federalists are weak and they capitulate and all that, so, like, the CSA just have an easy time grabbing that, so the CSA basically snowball. Let's see, how are we doing here in terms of, um, projected, uh, or, like, force comparison? Yeah, same. I send uh, volunteers to the AUS as well, especially if I'm like Germany or something. It's uh, actually like a wonder what a couple of tanks can do, like tank divisions. So, we talked about this last video, I think, where, um, one of our long-term plans is going to be, possibly, uh, dropping a couple of uh, big old bombs on the Russians to try to get them to uh, capitulate. It's probably not going to be easy. And it's probably only going to, like, mess them up ever so slightly, but... It's better than just wasting tons and tons of manpower, I suppose. Uh, the problem is, yeah, the, the Mashriki Kingdom one can probably be uh, balanced a bit better, but the problem is that uh, they used to be stronger, the Arabs, and it led basically to the Ottomans getting devoured and gobbled up every single time, and then they, they buffed the Ottomans, and now the opposite is happening. So it's kind of hard to find a balance. Uh, do we have the submarine boys? We do not. We have the big boys. Let's uh, swap over to submarines. I'm just going to research new submarines and set them up, because we might need them if, um, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen, but if we somehow get into a, a tussle with, for example, the Entente, or if, for example, the Combined Syndicates of America win the war against the Pacific, which is, I mean, it's go gone down to a stalemate now, uh, we might need to raid their coast. Who are you? Philip Lafayette, or Follette. Zero manpower, and... Zero manpower. 
Of course, they can go to uh, scraping the barrel, but they can't because they've already done it. Yeah, but Lawrence of Arabia is, um, he's Lawrence of Germania now, isn't he? What do you mean, like, to use as background? Uh, did Lawrence even go to Arabia in uh, the Kaiserreich timeline? I imagine he did, right? Yeah, he, he also does become Lawrence of Germania in, uh, or he can be, where he raids, um, where he goes, like, organizing rebels and stuff in German territories. Man, Lawrence of Arabia, like, that film and that story is just so cool. Yeah, we probably actually need another army here. Wait, these guys are... Yeah, they, they've got a G, that's incorrect. They're not a garrison. Uh, every time this mod gets updated with the icons and everything, it gets all kinds of messed up. Continental army as well. Uh, so that, that actually means I can put those guys into... This army here. Which is down here in Indochino. Actually, that means we can use that in... Uh, in Australia. Yeah, I mean, Lawrence of, yeah, Lawrence is a an interesting figure, but also, yes, of course, a controversial figure. Oh, definitely, yeah. I would not, um... I, yeah, I wouldn't basically, like, treat his version of events as gospel. These guys are meant to be G for, go uh, for garrisons. Yeah, the uh, the Brits did not treat the Middle East well after the well the Brits and the French after the First World War, uh, with the whole the whole uh, you know Six Picot and all that. Yeah. That's interesting though, because in um. In the Führerreich universe, it's a bit different with how they, um, how they, they do all that. Oh yeah, dude, let's go jet engines. Um, they, uh, they're like, I believe in the Führerreich universe, they like sort of upheld their, their deal of the, uh, the bargain. But also did some other stuff, like the French uh, still have, like, French Syria and all that. But they, at least, I guess they, um, divided it all up. In a way that was more in line with the Six Picot uh, agreement, but, you know, not fully, of course. Oh shit, I also just realized follow notifications were off. Uh, is Feng Shan government on the rebellious folk street? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, let's see, they are on. This side. Right? This is the one that expels Japanese officers. Like, this is what makes them um, rebel, right? I'm basically keeping them just perpetually at war so they can't actually do this stuff. Indeed, they are. Yeah, we really can't do much up in Siberia at the moment.
Uh, isn't invading Russia through Siberia not the best idea? Yes, uh, you are correct. Uh, but the plan was never really to fully take all of Russia. Uh, the plan was just to get their steel. And uh, we've gotten a bunch of it. Haven't we? I think we have. Yeah, we've got some of it. Uh, we haven't gotten this, uh, so, like this store, which I wanted. But yeah, the idea was basically just to take a bunch of steel, and also, I think we were, uh, like, our hands were kind of forced, because the uh, Russians invaded Mongolia while we were invading Mongolia and whatever, and wanted to take some land. So we kind of, like, our armies basically met in the middle. Uh, yes, Roy, you would be correct. It is, uh... Generally accepted that Siberia is quite cold. We're still doing fine for manpower, though. Honestly. Oh, shit. Uh, the fall of London. With London in Canadian hands, British defeat is inevitable. Uh, the problem with this right now is that we still haven't gotten our war goal yet. 10 more days, or 12 more days, until we get the war goal. We gotta get that before we actually, like... Yeah, before the, uh, Brits capitulate. Yeah, Trans-Siberian Railway is really cool. Just goes through, like, nowhere. There's one line, basically, that connects the west, western Russia to eastern Russia and all that, and Mongolia, I suppose. Uh, is sea superiority set up for the invasions? No, it is not. Uh, you're correct, I should do that. Let's see. These guys are apparently fighting, but... Or, no, they're, they're looking, they're a strike force mission. Um, let's remove all this stuff, honestly. And uh, let's get these guys out on... Let's see, remove everything, please. Naval Invasion Support over here. Naval Invasion Support over here. Uh, will you do Geogazer Friday? Yes, I will. No, I, yeah, I, I did, but I'm also going to do it sometime today. Uh, on the stream, because I think that would be a lot of fun. Because we can play it basically together. Um, let's see, I didn't catch all of chat because I was looking at the Naval Interface. Alright, well, let's see. Uh... Carriers, the carriers here, they're probably going to be useful. Set them up for assist as well. Oh shit, this one as well? Let's see. That should be good. Because they're going through... Yeah, they're only going through one sea zone, which was the intent. Uh, what did I do yesterday? Yeah, what did I do yesterday? Don't think I did uh, GeoGuessr yesterday, did I? Or like upload anything yesterday, those GeoGuessr? Alright, a couple of days more. I'm gonna speed up time. Has the second Veldkrieg broken up uh, broken out yet? Uh, well, Duck. I would say it has, yeah. I would say it's uh you know, it's quite on its way. But we're trying to invade the Australasian Union before the Brits capitulate, because when they capitulate, the Valkyrie is over, and we want to get a piece of the pie. Oh, 
Uh, Tomas, you missed a bunch of um, me talking while I watched nothing happening in Siberia and us just find war for taking some land from Australia. Which is going to happen now. So let's see, let's get the Marines. Invade, and Mr. Itagaki here. Probably, his first name is probably uh, Itagaki, and his last name is probably Seishiro. So I don't know if they, like, if flip them and stuff in uh, How to Find 4. Let's get these guys off the garrison order so we can have them ready at the porch. Now we are officially in the Second Weltkrieg. We actually technically were in the Second Weltkrieg earlier when we fought Germany for their colonial holdings. And now we're in the Second Weltkrieg on the side of Germany, fighting Germany's enemies to take the syndicalists' holdings. So we're kind of like a vulture just swooping in to grab whatever's like, you know, whatever's left, essentially. Uh, oh, that's bad. That's four divisions. There's some, some is cavalry and some is infantry. Our submarines have found some convoys. Did you know there's a Warhammer mod to Rimworld? Yes, I do. I've played it, like, ev ever so slightly. There's, like, mods for everything uh, for uh, Rimworld, honestly. Uh, Vietnam wants to join our wars? Sure, yeah. Uh, Flanders Valona? Yeah, sure. And uh, Burma? Yeah, okay. Uh, Cambodia? Yeah, yeah, sure. Korea? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, did Insul India join? Yes, they did. Uh, did I not activate this? Oh, my bad. Activated the wrong one. Activated this guy holding and watching the uh, Feng Shan government. Oh my god, now they're moving their people off the border. Uh, we might be able to actually take this now. Uh, we gotta take Australia though before these guys come in and like, just gobble up the one railway through all of Australia or whatever. Yeah, playing both sides, five, uh, 5D, or f uh, both sides, uh, 5D chess, art of the deal, whatnot. I mean, Hirohito is a smart man, he's got glasses, right? That automatically makes him smart. Is everyone, like, zooming in and out all the time? I'm just, I don't know, I, I have a tendency to just do that. Just try to look at everything going on at the same time. Uh, let's get better torpedo tubes, I think. Oh, dude, this is really good, but holy shit, it takes so long. To uh, so long. Uh, electric torpedo is good. Torpedo tubes are good. Probably don't even need any of that. I'll just go with electric torpedoes. Yeah, having glasses automatically makes you smart. Honestly, the only reason I've ever gotten ace in school, because, like, it sure isn't because I'm working hard. Don't like the sub-engine, I think snorkel is better. Oh. Let's have a look. Uh, oh yeah, this yeah this is the one that gives, um, Lowered max range. It's good in Europe, I think, I think, but probably not for us, actually. Oh, reliability minus 75%. Never mind, I take everything back. That's, like, experimental shit. Like, only good for that kind of stuff. Uh, like, I don't know, using them for very specif specific uh, missions that you need them for. Uh, Freda, how tall are you? V not very. Uh, let's see. And also, do you wear glasses? Yes, I do. Why? Well, I, I wear contacts sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> My cousin is stupid as fuck and he wears glasses. I feel like you're, uh... 
your opinion on that matter might be slightly biased. Like you might be a it might not be a reliable source. Oh hell yeah, there's music. Let's see, can we No, we don't have any airports nearby. I was thinking can we like get um air superiority as well? Uh, we could build like airfields over here and maybe over here. Sure, yeah, we'll have a pact of non-aggression. I don't mind. Uh, this is Yoshinori Okubo. His call sign is Lance. Okay, very Japanese call sign. When is face reveal? Uh, probably when I live in a house with a fence and uh, security guards. Uh, Freddy, you're from Norway. Not very tall might mean 10 meters. Come on. I guess, like, there are a lot of tall people here, and I'm surrounded by a lot of tall people. Wait, what the fuck? That's Nationalist China, right? Yeah. Chen, Chen Zhongming, what have you done? Why are you sending volunteers to them? You absolute bellend. Yeah, I'm so famous I need bodyguards. No, dude, all it takes is like one very, very troubled individual and your life is just suddenly hell. Yeah, if everyone, uh, like, if I get, like, 20 Twitch Prime subs right now, in, like, the next two minutes, uh, then I'll do a face reveal. Uh, why do I put 24 divisions on the little port? It's not that little, right? Oh, it's, it's actually tiny, yeah. Um, because it's not just gonna be a little port soon. Or at least, hopefully not. I'm gonna kill the supply? Yes, I am. Uh, but also... If I do, I'll just send half of them out. I was hoping to take some territory around it. For example, this airfield. I'll log on to my alt, lol. Yep, non-aggression with everyone, that's fine, that's cool. These guys are not doing too hot in terms of um, supplies, I think. Uh, yeah, so let, let's have a look at these guys and their supply situation. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Like, you can see, the uh, the color is good, at least. And we're not suffering attrition. So I think we'll be fine. Uh, what happened over here? Oh yeah, we took the uh, took the port. Honestly, let's just right click towards Rabao. Oh, we can actually. Oh my God, we can actually go through the entire thing. I didn't even notice. All the way to Friedrich Wilhelmshaven. I mean, yeah, you say that, but I'll probably just end up using the uh, money on like booze and stuff, anyways. There's been, like, way too much uh, drinking the last week. The, um... Like, the start of the school year in Norway is intense. Now it's starting to suffer attrition here. Well, let's see. 
no worries over here. And it is more or less a straight line with two places we could potentially get um, uh, like encircled here. Uh, but we'll we'll uh, you know deal with that when it um, when the threat arrives, which means that I'll probably forget and then get encircled as usual. Oh, we're actually fighting an actual navy over here. Never mind. So yeah, this was why I wait. What the fuck is that treaty of something? Please, Afghanistan. I need to see. Uh, Valence. Wait, what the fuck is Valence? Is that Valencia or something? Um, but yeah, we have won the second Veltkrieg. It's all because of Japan. This is why I wanted to get involved quickly, because I knew this was going to fall fast. So, realistically, we could take all this and hold this. Uh, the Germans wouldn't be able to oppose us. But we can't take anything here. That wouldn't make any sense. So, let's see. But where's Germany? Uh, excuse me? There's Middle Africa, there's uh, Commonwealth of Canada. First of all, they're gonna get all this stuff. I'm gonna pass so we can give it all to them. Fuck, couldn't sub with my ult. That's fine, dude. I meant, uh, also, by the way, in terms of subs, I meant Twitch Prime subs on um, on Twitch, which is where I, you know, actually get paid, so. Uh, France for Germany and Italy for, uh, yeah. Basically, yeah. I might have to, um, uh, oh, I mean, okay, I Irish has, uh, has uh, convinced me here, but I might have to, like, split this, because the uh, Republic, of course, were fighting them as well, I think. Weren't they? Maybe they weren't. See, it's Austria. What the fuck is that flag? Veracruz. That is god awful, but, um. Yeah, is Austria up here? I'd, I haven't seen them. No, no Austria, which means that, yeah, it goes to the two Sicilies. There's the German Empire. God damn it. Let me just click this button a million times. Give Portugal some of France, boys. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm sure they fought, but like, Germany surely would take all of this. Give France to the Kingdom of France. Well, yeah, but Kingdom of France didn't hold any territory, so now the Kingdom of France has to fight Germany if they want it. Uh, let's see, oh, Irish Socialist. So uh, oh my God, Irish Socialist. Oh, I can't even speak. Irish Socialist Republic will probably have to go to Liberator Ulster. No, uh, it's going to go to the Commonwealth of Canada, and so is the Union of Britain. Fucking hell. I doubt uh, Portugal is going to fight Spain. Why is Veracruz so far up? Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not? Why don't we just give everything to Iceland? Uh, this stuff goes to Sweden. There you go, two Sicilies. This is the one point uh, or part of the uh, player-led peace conference mod that I don't really like. The fact that you have to just like click this stuff all the time for no reason. Turn Ireland into a puppet. I can make it my own puppet. Uh, the uh, Can Canadians might turn it into a puppet. Wouldn't make any sense for the Japanese to just swoop in and be like, no, dude, Ireland's ours. Uh, 
It's so, like arrives at the peace conference in, in Valence, wherever that is, which I'm guessing is Valencia or something. Uh, and they just like, uh, well, Valencia is like down here, right? Dude, I got no clue. But basically, like, arrive at the peace conference, like fucking. Uh, oh my god, what's the Japanese greeting? Now I forget. Um, for some reason, I can only think of Ohio, but that's not it. Oh, Konnichiwa, of course. Uh, so, fucking Hirohito just arrives at the peace conference to, like, Kaiser Wilhelm and Edward and everything, just like, oh, no, Konnichiwa, bitch. Uh, Ireland is mine now. Doesn't make much sense, really. Uh, let's see, we got enough score to give this to... The two Sicilies. Now, what are, we, what are we missing here? We're missing the Norwegian Union, which needs to go to Sweden. Uh, you were in this war, right, Sweden? Please tell me you were so I don't have to give this to fucking Iceland. Or Denmark. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Swedes weren't in this war. Well, I guess Norway goes to Denmark again. No, I can't take Norway. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Icelandic Norway. Re reverse colonization. Oh, it goes to Denmark again, I think. That is a cool flag. And the Australasian Union. That's mine. And then Mexico. Yeah, who actually... Who the fuck would take... Me probably, probably Germany, honestly. Mexico to Portugal. It, it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> West Indies? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Japanese people and Chinese people love to visit, Nor visit Norway. Um, partition Mexico. I can't do that in Kaiserreich because you gotta like you gotta uh, take all the land and then um, half West Indies, half Portugal. France takes Mexico. God damn, we got a lot of different uh, differing opinions here on this. Wait, the French Kingdom? Dude, I don't even know if they did anything in the war. Japan takes Mexico to strike the US. Uh, it's not the worst idea, but I feel like it wouldn't really um, be fair because we didn't, like, we literally didn't do anything to the Mexicans. Like, we we didn't even fight there, so us taking it would make much sense. Now nah, I'm gonna give. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can't divide stuff like that in Kaiserreich. You gotta like. Uh, you gotta um, actually annex everything, and then give it up afterwards. So the one nation has to take all of it. Give Mexico to Spain, Lamau. I'm gonna give it to the West Indies Federation and let them sort it out. I think. Wait, are the West Indies Federation a puppet? Uh, well, in. If I was going to give it to them, I would give it to the Commonwealth of Canada anyways. No, I'm going to give it to Germany, because Germany did pretty much all the fighting in the war, and they're going to take most of these states that they can take, honestly. And give Spain to Mexico, yeah. They aren't a puppet. Well, then. I'm going to be interested to see if, um, like, if you get the... Uh, syndicalist event where there's like a revolution in the West Indies if Mexico then becomes um, something else. No, it's already been done. Mexico is now West Indies. West Indies clay. It's all over. Done.
the wars are over. Let's get all of our fleets back at ho uh, back to home uh, base or back home. A little bit of lag there as a lot of nations are being released. Uh, we're going to see a lot of lag. Uh, why are we fighting Central America? Central American German War. All right. Up at Australia and New Zealand, please. Yes, I will. Uh, destruction. No, let's not do that. Return. Nope. Uh, the fate of Australia. Australasia. Let's do that one. So we can liberate an apparently United Australasian. Oh, no, a United Australasian Confederation, or we could liberate Australasia and, or, or sorry, Australia and New Zealand, or occupy them. I'm going to liberate Australia and New Zealand separately. There we go, Australia and New Zealand. Under Earl Page and George Moncton Arundel. What a name. Uh, let's have a look at the parties actually. We've got the county, or the country party. And we've got the country democrats. Because we're, you know, market liberal and stuff. So, we're at peace now, right? We're not. We're at war with the fucking Central Americans, of course. Uh, I'm going to send volunteers to uh, the Pacific States the moment we're at peace. And let's research tanks, why not? We can't get medium tank uh, companies anyways, so may as well just re research it and get it over with. Uh, we gotta be at war though, because the Fengshan government might get... Oh yeah, we're at war with the Russians, of course, and we'll keep being at war with the Russians, of course. I just forgot about that uh, for a while, so the Fengshan government can't attack us and we can't send volunteers to the Pacific States, sadly. I wonder if you can set up uh, manually, like, individual ad uh, preferences for videos so that I can set up this video to basically have, like, one big ad in the beginning, because it's, like, it's going to be, like, a two-hour long video anyways. Uh, it's, so, like, one big ad in the beginning and no ads in the middle so that people don't get interrupted. Central America is Japanese colony, right? Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Help out the Pacific States to save America. Yes, I want to, but I can't. I mean, I could justify war on the uh, combined syndicates, but, like... Do we really want to get involved in, like, a fucking 78-front war at the moment? Bapun... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but okay. okay. Uh, promise me the, that you give Central America to Portugal. I can promise nothing, but I will do my best. The kicker is, I'm not very good at doing my best. Yeah, the uh, supply situation is kind of dreadful still, because of all these uh, boys here. Yeah, uh, America will not basically change. We probably have plenty of time. I don't know why they they aren't uh, upping it from service by requirements. They should have the political power for it.
But yeah, I've seen it happen plenty of times. Like, one side does it, and one side just chooses not to. Fucking Franco again. Dude, you gotta be uh, be happy, Tomas. Uh, Portugal, for some reason, got fucking Tuco Salamanca here, so... They got, um... They got some extra clay from the Spanish. That's German planes. BF-109. And that's a nondescript plane, and... I believe that's also nondescript. That's a uh, Baltic Duchy plane, I think. Probably. If I try to do an Irish accent, it can be as stereotypical as you want. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like that's going to reflect poorly on my, um, or all me in general. Uh, United Kingdom has joined the Entente. A restoration of the United Kingdom. In a decidedly dramatic turn of events, the Republican regime in the Union of Britain has fallen, and the Royalist government under the House of Windsor has now finally returned to London. King Edward uh, the Eighth has been formally coronated in West Westminster Abbey, fulfilling his life's dream of avenging his father's exile during the British Revolution. And already, efforts to rid the nation of its syndicalist ties are underway. The British Isles have been changed beyond all recognition in only a short period of time and the roots of leftist influence have been deeply embedded in the institutions of the nation and the psyche of its people. Many across the globe now wait with bated breath to see what actions the newly restored United Kingdom will take on the world stage. So we've got Ireland as a puppet, I'm imagining. Yep, uh, Frank McDermott. Occupied puppet of the Commonwealth of Canada. <laughs> what the fuck? So Canada owns Ireland, the United Kingdom doesn't. Well, that makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it's still King, uh, yeah, it's still, still Edward, still Eddie, uh, leader as Can uh, sorry, as leader of Canada. It probably would be hilarious, but um, I think all the fun would be at my expense and. Yeah, it might get me in trouble, I don't know. I tried doing some in D&D, &D and it, they were like, okay. Oh boy, is Frank McDermott a, um... Is he a bad dude? I think it's- there's a focus that makes Albert the governor of Canada. Cool. Uh, let's see, Loyal to Britain. Where is that one? Yeah, the re Return of the King. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, so, Loyal to Britain. Investment, God Save Canada. Canadian Day, New Canadian Officers. Canadian Nobility's Fate. Pro I'm guessing that's... Uh, this stuff is what actually um, does that. Cursed, the IRA shall rise. I mean, it's cursed as hell because it's under fucking Canada and not the United Kingdom. Middle Africa wants it to sign a pact of non-aggression. Honestly, no, let's not. I don't care. And the French Kingdom, nah, I don't care. I wish we had the encryption uh, necessary to see what's going on over here. Like, we can't build anything in Mongolia. We want to take more territories so I can actually build a radar installation or something, just to see, like, how much, um... I mean, how, yeah, how, what we're dealing with up there. Never seen the effects of Canada's tree post UK restoration. Well, you might see it this playthrough. Let's see, uh, can we press some supplies out of the Australasians, or the Australians? As they're actually called now. Docking rights from the United Kingdom. Sure, buddy. Sure, friend.
Probably should use our political power as well, but we don't really have much to use it on. Uh, we... M there's no point to... Yeah, there's really no point to doing that, because it's just going to reduce constru uh, construction speed. I was thinking just do service by requirement, but... Literally no point. Uh, close air support stuff sucks. We don't need it. I'm going to do the bombing one, wherever it is. Power drop, not naval, nah, nah, nah. Where's, like, the, the big ol... Carpet bombing, there we go. Supply consumption, good. Uh, probably don't need this guy, Chief of Navy. Uh, naval max range is probably going to be necessary. Yeah, constitutional monarchy is technically a democracy. Like, it is, I mean, by definition, it is a democracy. The upper house, you mean like the House of Lords or whatever? or whatever? Like, I actually am not fully familiar with um, uh, the individual, like, moving parts of the uh, UK um, government. There's not a president, it has a king. Uh, yeah, but it also has a prime minister. Well, they're the, uh, they're the, like, the de jure head of state, but that's really just, like, a check on democracy, I guess. Like, it's a, it's an old holdover from pre-democracy days. And, uh, in, like, in reality, the head of state has no, like, hard power influence, or just never exercises it, at least. Yeah, the Prime Minister does basically everything. Oh, and the government itself. Remember that, uh, th like, the President has a lot of power that, in theory, they shouldn't have. Um, but also, like, a lot of power that, for example, Prime Ministers don't have, because they have to act with their government, which often, you know, consists of multiple parties and all that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit different. Like, the, uh, the president is basically, like, the executive, uh, but in, uh, like, constitutional monarchies, the government, like, the entire cabinet is the executive. At least, that's how it works in Norway. Uh, the prime minister just leads the government. They don't actually, like, have executive power like, um, you know, the president of the United States does. Hello, meow. Uh, let's see, what are we doing next? We just gotta wait until these guys handle the Central America bullshit. And then we gotta figure out a way to deal with Russia, but... How, though? I want to get that radar installation up, but uh, yeah, there's like basically no way we can get the encryption necessary to see what's going on over there. Germans would probably help, like help with Russia. I was hoping that the Russians would um, do something very silly and attack the Germans, which like they still have, uh, they still have. The option to um, to cause trouble over there. They just haven't. Uh, sure, okay. I like his flag, and that's why I'm accepting. Uh, we probably shouldn't be making any more of these. I don't think. Yeah, we probably shouldn't be. 
Uh, then again, uh, if we keep it up, they actually produce faster, I believe. Because uh, they've been producing in like a long series. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll keep them running. That is true, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, if they join the Untaunt or if they just fuck with White Ruthenia, uh, White Ruthenia and, um, oh, never mind, White Ruthenia is, uh, not in the Reich's Pact. Uh, if they fuck with Ukraine or the United Baltic Duchy, then we'll see a war. Alright, I'm going to keep going for a little bit on Hot Sun 4 here, uh, but not too long. Uh, we should start thinking of what our goals are going to be for next stream slash episode, because um, I'm going to move over to a different game. Also, I'm going to check the poll just to see if like more votes came in. Uh, let's see. For like what I'm going to be playing. You'll find that poll, by the way, in the Discord. Yeah, still is mostly Hot Fun 4 and Dwarf Fortress and GeoGuessr. I'm gonna think I'm gonna say um Hot Fun 4 and GeoGuessr is probably gonna be on the table for today. Yes, Communist Siam uh, on Road to 56. Road to 56 is like full of a bunch of stuff that I don't know, it, it's like a slightly messy mod in my opinion. It's not a bad mod. Though I might just have to like dive deeper into it. Last time I played it, I wasn't too much of a fan. Yeah, what what more are or like what are our long-term goals for this campaign, by the way? Like what Um What do we have left? Cause like we don't need to necessarily f uh, play this uh out to like 1958 or whatever. I want to see what happens to um, the Kingdom of France and their invasion of, or their potential reclamation war. But other than that, I don't know if we actually need to play this uh, too much longer. We've taken pretty much the entirety of the Pacific. Excuse me, what the fuck? So the Germans apparently hold like a tiny bit of it, but we've taken pretty much most of the Pacific. The Pacific own is ours, probably Hawaii and some of the American. Yeah, but Hawaii is part of the Entente, and that's gonna uh, put us into like an actual full-on war with them. I don't know. I feel like I feel very safe and secure in our um, our power uh, position right now. The only problem is, you know, the national protection lines, but that can be dealt with at some later date. What did Denmark do with Norway? Good point. They liberated them. And we've got Jens Lund under... under um, oh my god. When I say a Norwegian word, I just go straight into Norwegian. Jens Lund under uh, Fjærdelandslage. I believe this guy is a generic leader. Never heard of him. Have heard of Fjærdelandslage, though. Uh, win the Second American Civil War for yourself? Yeah, but like... Also, why though? Because then we gotta like... <clears throat> I don't know. Then we gotta get very, very, very into... Um, securing America as well. I think we're... Um, Uh, look for some lands in Africa. That could be a thing. Yeah, we could just, like, take Somalia and stuff. Get some more power protection, er, projection, like, out this way. Or just kill China and leave it at that. Yeah, but that's easier said than done. Seventy-six to 114. 
Manpower, 17 million to 22 million. 159, manpower, 604k. End goal is Transamur Russia. Alright. It does, yeah. Blessed Unicorn, Transamur Russia. We'll, um, we'll try to take over Russia then, at least. And then we'll see what we do from there. Let's see, let's make a modern carrier. Everything looks good. This one will be called... Uh, so the carriers we had were called... Or they were named after regions, right? So we had the Edo, we had the Kansai. Uh, we, we can have the... Let's see, this is Shikoku and this is uh, Kyushu. We'll call this one the Kyushu class. Wait, Iwo Jima? Could I put the LT3? What is the LT3? Oh, the the tank. Yeah, I could. Uh, though I'm researching the uh, the Type 5 Chiri, uh, and we're gonna just go straight to... Um, wait, yeah, Light Tank 3. We're gonna go straight to, um, to Medium Tanks instead. Mobile Iwo Jima, that's actually not a bad idea. And it is an attack carrier, so it's a CVA. Where are the carrier carrier fighters? There we are. Get rid of the zero. And I think we're going to basically leave the Hot One Four section of the stream there, and pop on over to I guess we'll play a little bit of GeoGuessr, see how that goes, and then maybe something else after that. Clean up the production queue. Yes, I'm gonna do that off camera though at some point I think because it's just it takes takes it takes too long it's annoying and boring and whatnot but anyways yeah we're gonna play a little bit of GeoGuessr and if you would like to play with us I'm going to do a challenge which I'm gonna link in the chat so that you can play with me as well and also I'm very open to like uh, suggestions for like which nations or like places in the world I should play. Yeah, let's see. Exit game. Let's go to. Let's go to the BRB screen. Hold on. Uh, hold on. There we go. Let's play some music. Sammy's playthrough is pretty sick. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, the music playing right now is the Transistor soundtrack. Uh, public or made the uh, soundtrack is made by Darren Korb, uh, the same guy who made the soundtrack with Bastion. Uh, I'm going to be right back and uh, just use the washroom, grab a drink, and then we'll play some GeoGuessr. So be right back. Thank you. 